That's right. Hopefully that's a little better. Yeah, there's always something. <laughs> so anyway, it's June already. Oh my gosh. And witches roots. So this is a an ethical company that does pagan inspired. This is more herbalism and gardening. So I don't know. I'm excited. Let's get into it because outside it's raining. So we'll play with stuff inside. My desk is kind of a mess. Oh my gosh, how has everyone been? I feel so out of the loop because it's been a while. It's been too long. I can't believe I haven't streamed in like three and a half, four weeks. Oof. Terrible. I'm a terrible streamer. Oh, ooh, I already see roses. I'm obsessed. Oh, I love when they do these sigils too. Stop. Focus. All right. So this is the Divine Feminine for June. With the ring fit. Ooh. Your legs hate me. Yeah. My legs hate me so much for all the walks I keep doing with Puppy and going up and down my stairs. Oh my gosh. I was so out of shape. <laughs> but we're working on it. We're getting there. I think I finally found a pretty decent schedule, and we'll see how long she'll stick to it. <laughs> so, this month's Divine Feminine. In a world of severe judgment and dwindling perceptions, it can be difficult to align with energies that seem to be non-existent in a public domain. It is so important that we continue to walk down our magical path so that we do not fail to catch the beauty that surrounds us at all times. We find such comfort and clarity in our practices and rituals. We embrace such energies specifically with the divine feminine to draw down strength, perception, power, and peace. In this very special collection, we work with specific tools to assist us in connecting with the divine feminine. The magical items are as follows. I know. Oh, I didn't post the pictures yet, but a couple years ago, I had some stumps removed from my front yard. 
and they also got my rose bush and I didn't think they were gonna come back. So last year it started growing, but I didn't have any roses, but they bloomed this year as of yesterday. And I'm really excited, they're so pretty. So I'll have to show you guys. So I'm excited to see roses in this. All right. So first up, there's Meadow Sweet. Oh, everything's upside down. Meadow Sweet Grimoire. Let me turn the light off. Maybe that helps. Okay. I don't know if that helped. So it's a Grimoire art book. Let me try turning the camera. I forget that I did everything backwards. Come on, you can do it. Work with me. I believe in you. There, that might be a little better. There. Still not the best resolution, but we're getting there. So, for this, a meadow sweet is a dusty, soft, or pastel color. Botanical allies are anise, lavender, mallow, majorum, roses. Meadowsweet derives from the Anglo-Saxon meadow and sweet, or sweet, meaning mead sweetener. It was added to flavor mead, wine, and beer. Ancient Celts purportedly sprinkled its ivory flowers along the bride's path during the nuptials. Like there's gonna be more rose quartz in here. Rose quartz loves to find me, but that's okay. So also rose quartz grimoire, and that's where the roses are. Looking how pretty. So this is a water element influenced by Venus, obviously. Then the moon is the heart and throat chakras. Compatible crystals are garnet, jasper. Magical beings are Aphrodite. Cupid, Ishtar, Isis, Venus, obviously. So obviously it's meant for rose and love. And then this is a great goddess sigil. So this sigil was created with the intention of promoting the divine feminine within your space. Place upon your altar to or recreate within your book of shadow shadows for later work. I expected more, but that's okay. So it's pretty. I like it. I like it. I'm a big fan of sigils. I still am not great at doing them myself, but a big fan. Oof. And then of course, all the filler, which I'll do with later. There we go. There's the next sweet. So obviously the meadow sweet herbs nice big packet so this is also known as bride wort or gravel root meadow queen it's a steeple bush again sweet mean mead along with modern mint and vervain held as one of the most sacred herbs to the druids oh that smells so good oh i'm a big fan It smells like cleaner, kind of. Like it's very refreshing. Commonly used to bring peace into the home. Wonderful companion to work with during times of unrest, anxiety, and discomfort. I will love this. <laughs> I will love this probably too much. Oh, there's a little rose quartz heart. So it's a tumbled rose quartz. Rogue, hi. You'll up it to two crisp high fives. Like I said, you pay for the trip. You put it off for my lodging and everything. Pay for the ingredients. I'm there. I do have quite a bit more to cook for you guys too, but I'll go over that later. What else do we have? 
all kinds of stuff to unwrap. Gosh, I love unboxing so much. I love it. I can't believe I took a whole month to do this again. It's been terrible. I've been horrible about being on Twitch. But I'm trying. So there's the candle. And this one is the Queen of Peaks mini spell candle. So you can see it's about a palm length. It's a bit less. So it's a three, four inch candle. It's all handmade and rolled. All right, so the Queen of Peace mini spell candle. The intention of promoting the energies of peace and tranquility. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to recite positive affirmations. This candle is wonderful to use during self-love rituals and meditations. <laughs> I'm trying to get back now that there'll probably be short spurts just while puppy's sleeping until I can get her to calm down while awake because she just wants to be with me at all times which is cute but doesn't help with um, streaming she's getting there she's almost three months now because I got her yeah so she's she's getting there <laughs> here's the oil and it comes with the dropper Oh, it's got stone in there. <laughs> so this is Inner Goddess. It's Ritual Body Oil. Oh, that smells like summer. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, focus. Um, Inner Goddess Ritual Body Oil. It's the energies of confidence and clarity. Craft, created with the pure intention, this wonderful blend has been made to provide you with the senses of beauty and nourishment. Enchanted this with Lang Lang, Rose, and Sandalwood. Oh, no wonder I'm obsessed. I love all three of those. This isn't going to last long. Oh, it's so good. So good. Anyway, um, have included Meadowsweet and Rose. Find Lemurian Quartz which is said to personify oneness with your aura. Ooh, fancy. And included a special mixture of our feminine magical oil to make you this. Start with a small amount. Just make sure your skin is sensitive. Ugh. It really does smell amazing. I'm going to use this a ton. Probably not right now because I have a bunch of bees in my yard and they already don't like my rose shampoo that I've been using. <laughs> I go outside and they're on the clover. Melville, thank you so much for the bits. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out, stopping by. I know it's been forever. I'm trying. I'll get things cleaned up, worked on it. Looks like this is our last item in the box today. TTV, hello, how are you two playing? Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, it's a mini statue. It's a mini goddess statue. Hand cast. I think that's cedar. Let me see. That's so pretty. I really like that. I might have to redo my altar now. <laughs> All right, so this says, the goddess altar talisman. With the moon rising behind her, the goddess is the true representation of beauty, growth, fertility, and power. Place on your altar near your workspace to invite these energies into your environment. I love it. It's not very heavy. I wish it told more. I think it's on cedar because it does smell pretty amazing. But I'm a big fan. I like it. So we'll go over all of it one more time. So you have the Meadowsweet Herb. Let me turn it around. 
Oh, and I need to take this out. Oh, I also forgot. I forgot. I'm trying to skip the incense, which I use obsessively. Ooh, it's passion incense. What's this say? Placed within this collection to enhance your ability to connect with your work on a deeper level. Ooh, that smells good too. Walk throughout your space, take a deep and intentional breath, exhaling any energies of confusion or mental anxiety. I don't feel like this one explained a lot of what went into it or why, but at the same time, I don't know if I really needed to. So there's nine items. There's the Meadowsweet Herbs, as well as, or if we're in the UK, Herbs, because it has an H. The Grimoire Art. Oops. There we go. And then the Rose Quartz Art and Sigil for the Divine Feminine. Then we have our Oil with the Dogger. Our Candle, the Goddess Statue. Rose Quartz Heart, which I think I already have one, so I might be able to use this for something else. And our Passion Incense. I'm trying to come up with a good way so I can take a picture. So like I said, it's kind of a quick one. I want to do the unboxing, show you guys. I'll take a picture and then I do have a lot of food that I ordered to do some recipes so I'm gonna try doing an easier lasagna um, a chocolate raspberry tort meatloaf with baked potatoes what else oh I wanted to try a skillet macaroni and cheese that looked good and then I made baked chicken I did six pounds of chicken a couple days ago so I made quesadillas and buffalo alfredo penne and then I still need to make curry and I'm going to make I think burritos or burrito bowls I haven't decided so now that I've kind of got things set up <laughs> again hopefully I can do some quick lives uh, nothing on a set schedule yet until I know how things are going with the puppy. Hopefully I can do some puppy cam for you. And especially since it's supposed to rain for the next couple days, we'll be inside a lot. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that I'm still here. I'm still alive. I haven't forgotten you all. Hopefully you haven't all forgotten me. That would make me sad. <laughs> I'm trying to be around. I'm not the greatest at it. And yeah. Oh, I have a lot of games to play too. I've got Resident Evil 7 to play. I also have Raft. Um, what other games do I have? Because I also had to re-download all my games, which was kind of a pain. I still have Valheim. Gosh, so many. Anyway. I know, it's quick. Thank you for hanging out. I will try and be back later this week. And I hope you all are doing well. Are staying happy and healthy. And I will hopefully talk to you all very soon. Until then, have a great day. If you're, you know, trying to get your games in.